there was a gong in the crystal shop and she was like nailing them on every take. My Good aim job. was a lot better than I thought it was. Um, <laughs> so. One take. The rock throwing scene at the oh, crystal yeah. shop, mm -hmm. I would say was a highlight for, for us. She was just picking up those rocks and absolutely hawking them mm -hmm. at Hannah. You! She sort of set up, okay, here's some special effects, things we can rig to fall or crash or do, but things in that store were smashed. Hey, calm down! Don't tell me to calm down! It was fun, except that I feel really bad because... She got me a couple times. I actually hit her with objects five or six times. Like, it was very much like the guys being like, you good? All right. You know, and like, I was just like, I'm good. <laughs> Team player. Yeah. Just for, you know, all of the legal. <laughs> she got to buy safe props. <laughs> Read it to me. Oh. No, no, please don't. Wait. I'm telling you to read it to me. Probably my favorite scene in the episode is the diner scene where Deborah makes Ava read the email and I think it's an encapsulation of what we try to do with the show. You have that this crystal throwing scene which is so funny and comedic and then we go to the diner and it's such a like heartbreaking emotional scene and Hannah and Jean just do such a wonderful job acting it and Jean does so much saying so little like she she doesn't really have many lines during it but she's reacting in such a powerful way. The truth is Deborah Vance is a bully and the worst kind, one who thinks she's the victim. Deborah is incredibly emotionally intelligent, and even though I don't think she's always in touch with her own emotions, she really knows how to make somebody hurt. And so I think the act of asking her to read that email aloud was just a means of making the guilt hit even harder. I think that's why she needs her adoring fans, because no one in her life actually loves her. Deborah, that's not true. She knew that that was one of the worst ways she could punish her. And also I think there's something is slightly masochistic about Deborah wanting to hear it. For her to think that Ava actually meant all those things was pretty devastating. She didn't mean it. Ava didn't mean it. She, she just got slapped. She was drunk. She was at the airport. The she airport does bring the out airport. the worst in people. We shouldn't, so. we shouldn't be held accountable for, for what happens. we do at an airport. Hey, Jimmy. Hey there. So, I regret to inform you that Deborah is suing you for violating your NDA. deborah has been in litigation with plenty of close friends. Oh, That's yeah. yeah. Just the yeah. thing that happens. It's a love language. You're suing me? Oh, I can't discuss details with the kids. It's partly a bit, in a way, to sort of rib and needle at Ava, but also she violated her NDA and she wants her to learn a lesson. Expensive one, too. Conflict is intimacy and litigation is deep intimacy. <laughs>